Welcome back everyone to another tutorial with libgdx. In today's video we are going to be discussing the file system. In the previous video, when we created the texture object, we didn't explain about the object that was inputted into the texture constructor parameter. This of course is an object called file handle. File handle is an object that is used to locate a file. It acts as a pointing directory to a resource for your game to load. You can load in texture, you can load in audio, game settings, as well as config settings for your game. File handle supports many different types of methods as you can see within this class, but in this video we are just only going to go over the basic principles of it. Now there are a couple constructors for the file handle. First being the constructor takes in the file name. Now if we go to the third constructor in the file handle class, we can see that there's a parameter that is called type, which is file type. If we click on this, we can see that it's an enum inside the files interface. It has four different types. We have the class path, the internal path, external, absolute, and local. Um, the files interface also includes some other methods that are very useful for your application. Um, we also have the get external storage path, which returns the home directory path as well as checking whether it's enabled on your machine. Another useful thing to set up for your application is a utils class. So in our case, we're going to be using the file system so we don't have to type out all of this every single time we want to retrieve a file. So we're going to head over to the game. We're going to click New, Java class. We're going to call this utils. And we're going to start off with the class path. So we're going to do public static file handle. We'll call this get class path. And then we're going to pass in a string in the parameters. We're going to call this file path. And then we're going to return gdx.files.class path. And then we're going to put in the file path within the parameters. So on what file path is, is looks for your any file related to the name that you put in in your jars resource folders. Um, it is useful for, for retrieving assets and anything related in your jar. If the file is without, um, not within your jar, that means it will throw an exception. So please keep in mind when you retrieve a file with class path, make sure that is within your jar. Now the internal path is also a useful method to retrieve. So back to the utils class, we're going to do public static file called get internal. And then we're going to pass in the same thing, the file path. Then we're going to return a file handle from gdx.files.internal, put in the file path. So the internal is your application's working directory. You can use it to retrieve the assets, um, folders, um, as well as anything within the folder that you're creating your application. If it's outside this folder, it will throw an exception, but it is useful for loading objects that are in your application's working directory. Another very useful method that libgdx has is local. So in our case, we're going to do the same thing, public static, file handle. We're going to hit get local path. And we're going to return the file handle type. So it's gdx.files.local. We're going to do file path. So the local on what it does is it works for your app it looks for your application's working directory same as the internal but it is uh, you can use it for reading and writing um, it is also private so that also adds a extra bonus rather than using internal another very fascinating method that libgdx provides is the external so in the same way as just previously said we do public static file handle call this get external and then we're going to return gdx dot files dot external and then we're going to put in the file path so as previously said in this video the external is your home's working directory so it is best to use this for storing large files as well as writing and reading them um, most big game engines, they use the external path for storing and downloading big assets for your game. But please keep in mind that when you do store files in the home's working directory, that it is open for the user to edit these files. 
Um, Java also has this system property that we can see to home directory. So we do system.out.print and then we'll do system.get property. Inside here we're gonna pass in a string, we're gonna do user dot home. So this looks for the home working directory, which is in our case the external. We can see it prints out our home directory. So if we click on this, it will bring up you in your file explorer where your home directory will be. In my case, this is where all my files are stored at. Now to test the external to see if it works, I'm going to copy the sand.png file and then paste it into my external path. Alright, so now instead of using utils.get class path, we're going to do utils.get external path. And then again, we just put in our name of our file, and that's all you really need to do. Unless if we have some extra folders, so you want to put that with a slash. And then if we run the application again, it will load the image, but in this case, it's using the external path. Now another useful thing to remember is the file handle methods. They can be used to operate on files for your application. So in our case, we're going to copy the external path to our application's working directory. So we're going to do file handle file handle equals to utils dot get external path. We're passing the sand png because we still remember that the png file is within our external path. Then we are going to do file handle dot copy to. Then we're going to do utils dot local path. Then we're going to do the same name because this is where we want to move the file to and copy the data to. So the reason why we're using only the local path is one, it supports read and write operations, and two, we want it to be in our application's working directory. You can put it in any other directory if you would like, but please make sure the method that you're using supports write and read. If not, then it will throw an exception. So in our case, we're gonna run the application. But if we look here, there's the PNG file just copied from our external path shown right in here. Now, if we click on the file handle class, we can see again, it does support a lot of operation methods such as read, which will return an in input stream of the file. And then file, if you wanna return the file object type, um, you can also use the map buffer if you wanna map it to a buffer. But yeah, the file handle supports really uh, efficient methods for your application that you can use. Um, I do recommend you play around with these methods to find fit to what you need for your application. All right, everyone, that wraps up everything for this video. Again, the file handle system for GDX is very big. I do recommend you to play around with the file handle yourself. But yeah, um, I will have a link in description leading to the file handle type for those who are interested in reading more about them. Um, definitely important for, again, to have a utils class if you're going to set this up, um, as well as the only thing you really need to pass into the file type is the name but if you have it within nested um, folders you might want to put the folders directory as well